Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a web blessings coming to sign of Aries. Keep in mind that this will not resonate for all of you. If you'd like a personal reading, I'll leave that in the description down below. You can also follow me on Instagram. So, on the bottom of the deck for the overall energy here is going to be the Five of Wands. So what the Five of Wands represents is arguments, chaos, conflict. Let's see. You have the Knight of Pentacles. Four of Wands, Emperor, your own energy, Aries energy, High Priestess, Pisces energy, Seven of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, Earth energy now. Okay, so Aries, what it feels like here, you have people in your life, it could be relationships, family, home life, whatever it is. So let's say if you have if you, this is like relationship wise, you might have others that are kind of against this relationship for some reason, like secretly, secretly against you. But let's say if it's not relationship, I just see, I see you doing well for yourself. Like you're gonna get to a point of stability in your life, and you might have other people that see this and they try to kind of. Um, mess with it for some reason. Some of you might intuitively know this, or you're a very intuitive person with High Priestess being here. So let's see. On the bottom of this deck is going to be the Nine of Swords. So that's a card of worry, anxiety, you know. A lot of worry going on in this point in your life. You have the Hierophant, Taurus energy, the Magician, the World, the Two of Cups, the Knight of Wands, Four of Pentacles. Okay. So like I said before, this might resonate more with relationships on that level, but it could resonate with like family or um, friends. Hold on. Anyways, family or friends, which is someone that you're very close to at this time. You can also be manifesting someone in your life here. You're going to have someone in your life, whether they're currently there in your life or coming into your life, that is going to make you very happy. It could be fire sign, earth, Taurus, Pisces possibly. That is what I'm feeling. You may be attracting someone in your life. You have number 38, Shedding the Old. There's a change coming your way. Cultivate a sense of adventure so you'll be able to see these new prospects. You have number 28, Sanctuary. Privacy, personal space, respected boundaries, and taboos. You have decisions. Finding. You have number 14, The Lost Star, Rebirth Out of Darkness into the Light. Number 33, Door to Romance. Okay, so what I'm feeling is that there's a new cycle coming into your life in love and just in your life. Like a lot of change. Releasing the old, moving into the new. That explains the world card being here. It's like new cycle, completion. And you kind of have this decision on whether or not to... You know, have some space to yourself, or, because this popped up, door to romance. There might be, like, an opportunity for romance or romantic relationship coming into your life. So you have that decision to either stay by yourself or, you know, go for a relationship. 
some of you might have been in kind of like a struggling period or like a, a dark time and now you're coming into the light you know things are moving up for you you're they're getting better you're really finding yourself and you're really starting to have more peace in your life feeling more happy letting go of the old and moving into the new okay so Aries that is all I have for you let me know if that resonates thank you for watching if you want to see more content don't forget to like subscribe bye guys